Hello, my dear students, and welcome to this week overview. During this week, we'll be talking about energy convergence. The law of conservation of energy applies to any mechanical process. If friction can be neglected, the total mechanical energy remains constant. Conservation of mechanical energy, we have this formula over here, which is kinetic energy plus potential energy at the beginning will always equal the kinetic energy and potential energy at the end. We have an example here. So at a construction site, a 1.5 kilogram brick is dropped from rest and hits the ground at a speed of 26 meter per second. Assuming air resistance can be ignored, calculate the gravitational potential energy of the brick before it was dropped. Firstly, we are going to analyze the question. We are going to understand what are the given information. So technically, the given information in this example is that mass, which is 1.5 kilogram, and the speed, which is 26 meter per second. So we are going to write what is given to us. So what is unknown and what I have to find is the gravitation and potential energy of the brake before it was dropped. In this occasion, the gravitation and potential energy, it is abbreviated as PE. So, we are going to write our equation, which is kinetic energy plus PE at the beginning will always equal KE, which is kinetic energy, and potential energy at the end. So, we are going to take the concept and the formula of the kinetic energy, which equals half mv squared. m is 1.5 and v is 26 meter per second. I'm going to substitute for this formula half times 1.5 kilograms times 26 meter per second squared. Using your calculators, you will have with 507 joules. So, we are going to check if our answer is reasonable. Check the answer by finding the initial height of the brick using PE equals 507 joules. The original formula for gravitational potential energy, which equals mass times G, which is the gravitational constant times H. Substituting the mass and the G will give us the H, which is the height, equals 34.5 meter. This is a reasonable height for an object in free fall to reach a speed of 26 meter per second. Another example, a 10 kilogram rock is dropped and hits the ground below at a speed of 60 meter per second. Calculate the gravitation potential energy of the rock before it was dropped. You can ignore the effects of the friction. So the same thing we are going to do. The potential energy equals the kinetic energy at the end. The beginning equals the end, which equals half mv squared. Half times 10 kilogram, which is the m, and the V equals 60 meter per second all squared. Once you put that in your calculator, you are going to have 18,000 joules.